Hey, what's happening guys? I'll tell you what's happening here. If you're actually watching this video, it's a miracle because this is my third time making this video today. It was freezing cold this morning, so I lit a fire and I had the blower on and I didn't think about it and all you could hear is logs cracking and the blower blowing on the fireplace. So I had to remake it and then I must have encoded it wrong because after it took its hour and a half to upload to the YouTube it wouldn't process so I'm back for the third time which means I practiced this a, a, a few times so we're probably doing pretty good anyway well what we're talking about today is PWM pulse width modulation and why it's not always the best answer sometimes you just want straight DC and if straight DC is what you want, then you need what's called a DAC, a digital to analog converter. Now you can buy a DAC like an AD5310 or a 5312, no problem. But that's sometimes a little bit of overkill when you just need something simple. So another thing that you can build yourself using nothing but resistors is an R2R DAC. Now, if you look here, that's R number 2R, not RTOR because we have one value of resistor R and the other resistors are twice that value. So the way this works, and I'm not going to get into this, I did a video on how to build an R2R ladder DAC before. I'll link to it down below, you can watch that video if you want to, but for those who have never heard of this, you, in this case it's a 4 bit, you can have as many bits as you want. And depending on how many of these you turn on, you get a different output right here, that's the ground. Pretty simple. So I had these boards made by PCB GoGo, and they're really simple to get. I mean, for instance, you just type in, you say your board dimensions, I'll just put in a 500, well, okay. Stop. I don't want that many. Okay, 50 by 50, we want 10 boards, standard thickness, two layer. You can hit give me a quote, and then it'll pop up here with your different choices. So you can pick single piece, panel by customer, different in design, size, quantity, how many layers, the material you want, whether it's FR4 aluminum or flexible, you know, whatever you want. You just design it in your favorite program, um, Eagle, um, Easy EDA, or if you're a dinosaur, Altium, and you save them as Gerber files. You upload your Gerber files in 10 days, you got your boards relatively cheaply. So again, that is PCB GoGo, and they are in fact sponsoring this video. So big thanks to them. All right, that was a lot of talking. Now, let's talk about PWM, Pulse with Modification, Modulation. Good God, Paul. So we're going to swing on up here to the oscilloscopo. I don't know how well my, my dingleberry is going to hook up here. Yeah. Are you going to behave? No, it's not going to behave. Anyway, so there's Pulse with Modulation. And that's at 50%. And if you look down here, you see our mean is 2.5 volts. So 50% on, 50% off of 5 volts gives us 2.5 volts. And if I adjust it, you know, we can go up. There's 80% and, not 80%, no, 60%. We're getting 3 volts. There's 90%, we're getting 4.64. You know, we take it down to 30%, and we're getting 1.6 volts. So that's good, yeah? Well, sometimes, and sometimes it's not. And here's the reason for that. I'm sorry, I keep bumping the camera. I gotta kinda hold it in place. Even though our mean is 2.56 volts, what we're actually doing is firing 5 volt pulses bzz, 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 at your circuit. And if you have a, 
a digital circuit that is not 5 volt tolerant, like say something on an Arduino Mini, Pro Mini, you know, you'll blow it. You will burn that boy up and you'll not be using it again. So, I've got a project coming up here and it needs 3 volts because I'm doing it actually on a SAM D board which is uh, only 3 volt tolerant. So in fact if I were to increase my duty cycle to 60 percent you see here we now have you know 3.12 volts close enough for government work but it's not because we're still blasting 5 volts and now we're blasting it more than half the time that's gonna burn up a circuit that can't handle it what we need is a straight DC pulse so if I turn on channel 2 which is the purple line hello channel 2 ah, there it is now channel 2 this we're at 2 volts per division here so here's our zero point 2 volts halfway between the next one is 3 volts so you can see the difference here. Here's our straight three volts. A nice straight DC that's gonna play well with three volt tolerant circuits. And then if you look up here, you see how much of this PWM is actually above that line. And I guarantee it might not be in the first five minutes or the first hour even, but it's gonna burn up your non five volt tolerant circuit. And then you're going to say, damn it, Paul told us it would do that. Well, it would. And, you know, say you want something lower. You know, where are we at? Oh, i got to switch back to channel one. Now, you could probably get away with that if you needed a half a volt. But, you know what I'm saying. When you're playing up here... And, you know, more than 50% of the time, you're above that 3-volt line, bad things are going to happen. So take my word for it. Don't mess around. If, you're not, if your circuit can't handle the voltage, don't do it. It's really, really simple to build yourself an r to r DAC. All you need for a 4-bit one are 8 resistors, 4 of 1 value and four of twice the value. Again, you put your inputs in up here. You either turn on one of them, two of them, three of them, or four of them. You read your output over here, and here's your ground. And you can get the voltages you want safely. So, that's my rant today about PWM. But, you know, we got some nice boards here, and, uh, yeah. Big thanks to PCB GoGo for sending those out to us. Really appreciate it. We'll put these together here in the near future. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Comment all you want. I read every single comment, and unless you're a complete dipshit, I generally answer. Even if I just click a heart, that's, that's me acknowledging you, so... That works out pretty well. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm out. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And most important of all, peace.